everyone. In this session, we are going to talk about OAuth 2.0 Web Server Flow in Salesforce. So firstly, we will discuss what is OAuth in Salesforce. Then we will discuss the different uh, OAuth flows available in Salesforce, which we can use uh, to make a call up, call into Salesforce. And then an access token will be returned, which we can use to further make requests and uh, get the data or update data in Salesforce. So let's start. So OAuth is an open protocol that authorizes a client application to access data from a protected resource through the exchange of tokens. OAuth tokens are essentially permissions given to the client application. The resource server can validate the tokens and allow the client application access to the defined protected resource. In Salesforce, you can use OAuth authorization to approve a client application access to your org protected resources. So uh, let's say uh, in integration when you make a call out or a call in. So uh, usually what you have to do is the first step is to authorize to the protected resource. So uh, here the protected resource is a Salesforce org. So before uh, making a change or updating or uh, creating data or uh, making a get call or post call uh, using REST API in Salesforce, you need to first uh, authorize uh, in Salesforce. So for that, we have a protocol defined between uh, uh, that uh, protocol is a standard basically that is being defined and that all web applications need to follow uh, when they need to interact with each other. So similarly, OAuth is a protocol and uh, in within the OAuth, we have different authorization flows that uh, that is given by Salesforce uh, to uh, for other applications to make a call to Salesforce and uh, get an access token. So uh, OAuth authorization flows grant a, a client application restricted access to protected resource on a resource server. So each OAuth flow of offers a different process for approving access to a client app. But in general, the flow consists of three main steps. To initiate an authorization flow, a client app requests access to the protected resource in response and authorizing server grants access token to the client app. A resource server then validates these access token and approves access to the protected resource. So uh, we have different uh, OAuth flows in Salesforce. Firstly, we have the OAuth 2.0 web server flow. We have the username password flow. We have the user agent flow. We have the JWT bearer flow for server to server integration. And we have many other flows. So I have mentioned the main flows. So uh, in this uh, video, we will see a demo of the OAuth 2.0 web server flow. I've already made a demo for the username password flow in uh, the other video. I'll share the link for that here. So you can see that. And in this video, we'll see a demo of web server flow. And apart from that, we have user agent flow. And if we if the if we need to communicate between two different stuff servers instead of a user, then we will use the G, J, JWT flow. JWT is JSON web tokens and uh, that are used for interaction between server to server. So for, uh, let's discuss uh, over 2.0 web server flow. So to integrate an external web app with the Salesforce API, use the OR 2.0 web server flow, which implements the OR 2.0 authorization code grant type. With this flow, the server hosting the web app must be able to protect the connected app identity and defined by the client ID and the client secret. So firstly, you will create a connected app uh, in our Salesforce org. Uh, so the connected app is uh, used for a call in. Uh, so whenever a uh, uh, external applications makes a call out to a uh, Salesforce org and the the first thing which uh, handles the request is a connected app. So a connected app would have its uh, consumer ID and the consumer secret, which I'll uh, show you later in the application when we'll see the demo for the OAuth flow. So uh, we will use the HTTP, HTTP redirect uh, in the first step of OAuth web, web server flow. So firstly, in the first step, we will have to get the authorization code. For authorization code, we will have to make, uh, we will have to do a HTTP redirect and the URL will be something of this kind, which is been shown on the screen. So it would be HTTPS, uh, your domain name, dot my dot salesforce dot com slash services slash o two slash authorize and then we have some parameters the parameters are the client id and the, then the redirect url 
this redirect URI is just an example and the same uh, redirect URI will have redirect URI should match the URL available in the redo redirect URI of the connected app. Then we have the response type equal to code. This means we are uh, uh, the first step uh, as I said was to ask for an uh, authorization code. This means that we are asking for an authorization code. So after the user logs in uh, successfully, so the authorization is granted uh, by appending the code in the URL. The second step now uh, uh, is to make a post request uh, using HTTP to get the access token. Once we receive the access token, we, uh, we can use that access token to make further calls uh, using REST API. So uh, here are the parameters that we need to provide. The grant type here should be authorization code and uh, code is equals to some value. Code is this uh, authorization code which we got uh, from the previous step. Then we have the client ID, we have the client secret and then we have the redirect URL. So this is the one which should match with the one in the connected app. So uh, now let's see a demo uh, of OAuth flow using LWC component which I have developed. So, uh, so this is our site. Uh, in this site, I've added this LWC component, which we will use to show the demonstration of a OAuth web server flow. So we are making a call to some other org uh, for which I've defined the URLs in the LWC code, which I'll show you later. Firstly, I want to show you how this uh, site would work. So I'll click on the authorize button. It will redirect me to the uh, this uh, mydomain.my.salesforce.com and it will ask me to log in here. So this is uh, this is the URL which I have provided in my code. That is why it is redirecting me to this uh, URL. I'll do a login. Uh, so after I do a successful login, it will redirect me back to this uh, my site and it would append uh, Co uh, code is equals to the authorization code in the URL. It would append that in the URL. So uh, uh, now in this website, we have this authorize button as disabled. Now the second step, as, as I said, in the web server flow is to get the access token after we receive the authorization code. So after, uh, the next step is, is to get the access token. I'll click on get access token and we have successfully received the access token. So uh, the access token is uh, uh, actually usually big, but I've uh, stripped it uh, to show only the first few characters. So after we got the access token for that org, the other org which we logged in, I'll just quickly log in back to that org. So the, uh, so this is of uh, the, uh, the URL for this org is something different. It is resourceful slash shark. And this is a different org. Uh, here is the my domain for that. So what I'll do is uh, I'll use that access token. I'll uh, I'll create an account record in this org. So let's say I'm giving the name as 21st November account. Let's see if the account is created successfully or not. Create account. So newly created account ID in the other work is this. So we have got this account ID. I'll just quickly look if this is a valid ID or not. I have logged into that other org. And uh, this is the account record that we have created successfully. 21st November account. So only the name is mandatory in a, while creating account record. And you can see this is created right now. So uh, this is basically the OAuth flow. So now let's go to go to through the code and see how is it all working. So firstly, we have this button uh, that is the authorize button. Uh, the authorize button on click is uh, it is calling this JavaScript method handle click. So let's go to this handle click method. So we are using the navigation mix in module of the LWC to navigate to this auth URL. This is the auth URL. So uh, this is the auth URL. I have uh, provided the my domain for this URL. Then I have provided in the client ID and the redirect URL uh, and the response type, which is equal to code. I'll just go back to that org. Uh, I'll go to setup and let's see the connected app quickly. To see the connected app, go to setup, type app manager here. So in the app manager, uh, Let's find our app. So I've created this app handle request from 
uh, so I'll just click on view by clicking on the drop down I've named this app as handle request from external app so I've provided in uh, access for these all scopes so now to view the consumer key and the consumer secret which signifies client ID and the client secret you have to click on manage consumer details so this will open a new page and it will uh, send a verification code to this email ID after you, you'll enter the verification code you would be able to see the client ID and the client secret so uh, let's go further so I've provided this callback URL that is important you'll have to provide in the site URL or uh, whatever site you want the uh, flow to redirect to so I've, I wanted to redirect to this site so I've done that apart uh, so that's all I don't think we need uh, anything any other settings here so I'll go back to the code to the co uh, so this is the first step uh, so for to get the authorization code after we do a redirect so it will ask us to log in to the other org after we successfully log in it will redirect us back to this redirect uri which we have provided in the url now uh, after it has been redirected successfully so our uh, this template would be visible uh, if false show auth so uh, here we will have this uh, uh, button lightning button get access token on click of it it is uh, it will call this javascript method handle click access so in this method i am calling a apex uh, class apex class method i am providing in the auth code so this auth code is the one which we have got and this auth code i am uh, fetching it from the uh, this uh, url I'm fetching it from the URL. This is how you'll fetch something from the URL. You will have to import the current page reference uh, from the Lightning Navigation module, and then you will have to uh, use a wire adapter to get the uh, URL parameters. So uh, I'm just passing in this URL met parameter in the Apex class. So let's see this Apex class get access token. So this is the Apex class. So uh, in this Apex class, we are providing in the grant type, which is equal to the authorization code we are providing in the client id then we are providing in the client secret and then we will provide in the code we are providing in the redirect uri and then we are providing in the code that is the auth code authorization code and after we get that we will make a call uh, to login.salesforce.com slash services slash or two slash token to get the access token we will have to make a post request as i explained in the ppt and uh, once we make a call, we'll just return the response dot get body back to the LWC method. So here I'm just seeing if uh, it, it uh, if it is an error, then show error. Otherwise, get the access token here from the object that is returned, right? So lastly, we have this uh, input field. Uh, so once we get the access token, we will make a call to the other org to create uh, an account record. So uh, I've created this lightning input. Uh, the label here is enter account name and then we have this button create account which will call this handle account creation method. This handle account creation method, uh, what we are doing here is we are again making a, a call to uh, our Apex class to call this create account method and we are passing in the access token which we have got previously and then we are providing in the account name so that is from the input field so after we have uh, got the result uh, so we'll just get the id we'll store the id in this uh, variable and then we'll show this id on the screen so let's go to our uh, uh, apex class and see this is the create account method this is the endpoint to which we are making a call so this is uh, the endpoint to make a uh, call to the other or to create data uh, so we have this, uh, we have, since we want to create an account record, so we have given the API name of account. Uh, if it is a custom object record, you can give the custom object API name. Then this is how you will make a call out uh, to the other org. And that this call out would be handled by the connected app in that other org, which I have shown you previously. We uh, have this json.serialize. We have to give the body in JSON format. So we are using, we are using json.serialize method and then we are just returning the response uh, that we have got back to lwc so uh, this is this was basically a simple implementation of our oauth web server flow which i wanted to show 
So you can use that flow in your projects to get the access token and then use that access token for other complex tasks using REST API. So uh, thanks everyone for watching this video. Hope you like the video. Do like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thanks.